One million dollars. One million dollars. That's the amount of taxpayer dollars Congressman Paul Gosar, a self-described fiscal conservative, has spent on travel in the last five years. That number is more than any other member of the House in that same time frame. Let's go up to Capitol Hill, CNN's Mano Raju breaking this news for us. Mano, tell us more. Yeah, Paul Gosar is a member of the minority, is someone who is a rank and file member, yet he has spent more money on taxpayer dollars over the last five years than any member of the 435 member House. Now, this is part of analysis by the nonpartisan watchdog, the Moonlight Foundation at CNN. We went through these numbers, we confirmed these as well. He has spent $1 million over the last five years, and look at that compared to some members who have similar sized districts, even from his own state of Arizona. Congressman David Schweikert, for instance, just even the last two years has spent about $134,000 in taxpayer money at that time. Gosar almost five times that amount traveling back to Arizona. And compare that also to the two delegates who represented Guam over the last five years who have to travel about 8,000 miles back to their home district when they, when they leave Washington. Gosar still has outspent even them that over the last two years and also over the last five years raising questions about what these what his expenses are and raising alarm among taxpayer advocates who are calling for better disclosure. Well, I, we can show you his website. Uh, like many Republicans, conservatives, uh, he says that one of his missions is cutting wasteful government spending. Um, I know that's what he says publicly on the website. Uh, why is this significant uh, when you see a number that just jumps off the charts, especially compared to his Arizona colleague there? Well, there are very strict rules in the House about what you can actually spend taxpayer money on, particularly when it comes to travel. It cannot be connected to political reasons. It cannot be connected to campaign reasons. And we have found through our reporting that at the time while he was ex expensing money to the taxpayers, he also was appearing at some political events, including at CPAC, which is an annual gathering of conservative activists. He was in Orlando last year. He spoke at a, another event in which there was some white nationalist rhetoric at that separate event. He went to that. At the same time, there was these expenses that were disclosed to the taxpayer. There are also some mysterious expenses that have no explanation whatsoever, like $11,000 in lodging expenses and over a three-day weekend sometime last year. Now, uh, this is what the Moonlight Foundation said about all of this. It said, far too often congressional travel budgets are treated like personal slush funds by lawmakers. This is from Karen Gall, who's the executive director of that group. She said, while some travel expenses are necessary to serve constituents, ballooning travel budgets show the need for better disclosures. For instance, details of where, when, and what purpose lawmakers use taxpayer money to travel outside of their districts ought to be disclosed. Uh, and certainly, I know uh, one of the things the foundation points out is we could use more transparent laws. The rules could be more transparent so they could see more of the specifics. Uh, but you have put the question to Gosar, explain this. What was their response? Yeah, I, let, I detailed all of the questionable expenses. They didn't get into the, all the expenses, but they did say that, contended that none of these funds were misused. They said this was all connected to official travel. He, they went on to say, unlike out-of-touch yeah. politicians, Congressman Gosar, Gosar travels back to his district in Arizona every week, then hits the road to work tirelessly on behalf of his constituents of the 4th Congressional District, a district roughly 160 times larger than the size of Guam. And John, they say he was chairman of the House's Western Caucus for four of those years. They say that it requires extensive travel, but John, that group does not really disclose many of its events, only a hand outside of Washington raising questions about what this money was for. Again, it would be nice if the Congress required full disclosure, more disclosure by all its members. Mano Raju, grateful for the reporting here about Congressman Gosar. A quick look before we go.